Hey there Virgo, welcome to your April 2022 general reading. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. It really does help to grow the channel, especially the liking. And please, please, please share widely because who knows how many Virgos out there could do with some guidance from the guides. So, what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of April 2022 for your very sign. Before we then go into your emotional core, see what comes in, if anything needs to be released, um, maybe there's love on the horizon, all that kind of stuff. Before we then look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. right? And remember, this is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you, but here goes. I am also have to, uh, I should also mention that I'm, I have been drawn, or I am drawn, to a different deck. So I'm not using my Animal Guide cards, I'm using the Sacred Traveler deck um, by a lady called, can't remember the first name, Lynn? Anyway, it's a good deck. <laughs> anyway, I'm drawn to using different guides, if that makes sense, for this reading for you. Um, and like I always say, I only work here, so whatever I'm drawn to is normally what I do, right? So let's have a look at your overall energy <coughs> for the months ahead, for the months ahead, and it's quite interesting because you have crossing bridges and discovering truths. Now, therefore, when you look at um, at the messages here, this crossing bridges and discovering truths, what the guides want you to understand, Virgos, this month is two things. Number one, do not dwell in the past. You do, and don't go backwards. You don't live there anymore. If that makes sense, right? Really, really important. But you are also, as you're moving forward in life, reflection will come. But it's different when you just reflect on something rather than reliving it, which is when they're, when they're saying it's don't, go, don't go back into the past. Quite important. Therefore, what you ought to be doing and it might not be the easiest, is to um, see if you can be detached, be the observer in your own story, because crossing bridges means that also now you're crossing bridges and therefore you're building bridges instead of burning bridges. So therefore, energetically speaking, this is your overall energy for the month of April. You're moving forward. And while I don't feel it's a very fast moving it doesn't have to be a very fast moving, but you are moving forward, you're crossing bridges, right? Which means that whatever you're coming out of and whatever you have built can only be amplified to work for you. Interestingly, interestingly in there, there I can't talk. <laughs> Interestingly enough, you have what uh, is called discovering truth. Now that's important. As you move, this is all about reflection, baby. Basically, baby. Anyway, can't talk. Pardon. I, maybe it's too early. This is about what is, what is it now? Eight thirty-five. That's not really early, but anyway, you know, cats woke me up at six. <laughs> anyway, you have discovered truth. So what they're saying is, right? You keep on going. You build your bridges, right? Um, you're not burning bridges at this point in time. Uh, because you haven't fully healed and reflected on what has happened. Now, discovering truth means as you move forward, as you progress, and to a large extent, the energy that I'm getting, and again, it's, it's, a, it's a general reading, um, is of starting over rather than just moving forward. It's like saying, like, I want, I want a new beginning, I deserve a new beginning, right? If that makes sense. Um, so that's the energy that I'm getting for you. And discovering truth just means as you... Mm, sounds wrong. I wouldn't say as you walk away, but as you step away from the old, you discover truth. Now, the, the, the truth that you will be discovering, energetically speaking, for the month of April, will be about having realizations about things you no longer need and you would no and, and things that you would no longer tolerate. So you're moving forward into actually higher energy, um, but are asked to reflect on 
um, have you learned all the lessons from the old energy, if that makes sense, right? Um, because energetically speaking, what I'm getting here when I have um, when I have the cards here is truth needs no defense. So you 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 know you you shine your light brightly. You stand in your own light, if that makes sense. Um, and it doesn't matter if people get why you're moving forward or get where you're moving and you may not necessarily um, need to fully know where you're, where you're moving or even why you're moving forward. Point is, Virgos, this is the month for you to look at where things are stagnant and then decide, and I'm not having it, I'm moving forward. Right? <clears throat> so, let's have a look at your emotional core. To a certain extent, that was already uh, uh, quite um, about your emotions to be fair um, and it's difficult to actually separate this if that makes sense right anyway <coughs> with regards to your emotional core you have miracles and the voyage of the heart now this is all about healing right so when you have miracles that often depicts the concept of new love coming in right or really looking at the love you have and reflecting on what is working and rekindling, if that makes sense. And really, miracles mean that, you know, maybe the partner you're with um, can still surprise you. And if you're manifesting a new partner, right, then and it sounds a bit weird um, because you shouldn't have expectations when it comes to love, really, um, apart from the expectation that, that people have to deserve you first and that the energy has to be high, right? Um, but you can't pre-mold people just to fit your vision. That doesn't that doesn't work, obviously. But you have miracles, which means um, you might be surprised what emerges when you allow it to happen. Right at the same time, Virgos, don't hear this wrong. Don't mean it to be a bad thing here. <laughs> with regards to true, with the feeling of true love and being loved, feeling loved. You have the voyage of the heart, which means you are healing, right? And we sort of talked about it in the um, over energy. You are healing. Really, really important to understand that. Um, and as you go through healing, anything new could literally just distract you, right? So, um, yeah. Um, with regards to love, it's hard to advise you this month, if that makes sense, right? All the guides are saying is, don't fall into patterns of being there for everybody without fully realizing that you're still healing, right? So, let's look at the uh, final part of the reading, which are, which is or are your opportunities, right? Let's have a look. Let's see what we got for you. Okay, good things. <laughs> With regards to opportunities, you have the Mystic Healer and the un and Uncovering Treasure. The Mystic Healer, again, is telling you that healing energy flows through you. Let me just show this to you. That's the Mystic Healer, right? And because healing energy flows through you, again, it denotes that what the universe is helping you with is literally healing, right? Healing, 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 right? Seems, seems never ending, <laughs> But it is so important that while you're moving forward, while new doors are opening, really, really important that you um, come back from the knocks of life, if that makes sense. Really important because you have un 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 uncovering treasure. Um, and there's a little phrase on it here, beneath the surface lies great bounty. The animal um, that um, reflects or, or, or has the same message when I work with my Native American decks uh, would, be, would be the sturgeon, right? Point they're making is uncovering treasure means that as you are going into opportunities, as you're saying to the universe, okay, right, um, I, I deserve a bit more here, I manifest more for myself. What the universe is already saying to you, provided you look at what needs to heal, because the higher your energy is, the more we can send you, right? <clears throat> there is treasure that needs to or could, can be, if that makes sense, that can be uncovered by you, right? So what that means is for your opportunities, 
you know, sometimes when we don't know where treasure is and you look always in the same place, it's very unlikely to find treasure in the same place, if that makes sense. Ultimately, what I'm getting is, is for you to not be bound by your history or your past. You might be an expert in some sort of field and when you feel like, you know what, it doesn't fulfill me anymore, you can become an expert uh, sometime in the future, right? Don't feel stuck. Don't allow yourself to be stuck. If you are uh, typecasting yourself, <clears throat> that's what the world will do, right? So just be aware that opportunities are not necessarily super fast coming at you, but it's also more opportunities can come to you when you show real flexibility. Okie dokie. Guys, thank you so much. That was the um, April 2022 general reading for the sign of Virgo. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And please share, like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next month.